Alright, so this will be my last video for my capstone project, my fifth and final one. And the topic I'm gonna be covering today will be adding effects and using automation and making songs special using examples from Pierre Bourne. And by an example, I mean that I am gonna create like a similar song to the ones that he makes, so like a similar beat. It's gonna have this uh, very uh, simple melody, some drums, a simple two step hi hat. And yeah, I'm gonna basically just add effects to it, uh, some automations here and there, show you guys how I do things, and yeah, just show you the basic vibe of Pure Born. All right, so as you can see here, I already created a, a simple beat. It's got a whole melody right here. I'm gonna play this real quick, just so you can see. And it has no effects to it, so it's really dry. And this melody and this whole beat is really simple. There's right now there's nothing added to it, as you can see in the mixer track. None of the sounds have any effects to them. Um, I do have some uh, sound effects right here that I'm going to use maybe later on. And so yeah, I'm gonna get straight into it. So this is the whole beat. As you can see, everything's really simple. The melody has a little things going on here and there. Uh, I switched up the 808 from part A to part B, and I added the kick as soon as the second 808 dropped. And yeah, basically that's the whole rhythm of the beat. Now I'm gonna just add automations, add some effects, add some sound effects, and see how I can make this song special uh, after making it really simple. So the first sound I'm gonna start with would be the this sound right here. It sounds very dry, it sounds very simple, so I really want to add like a reverb to it, make sure it sounds a little more spacious. And next I'm going to add a fruity chorus. See which one works the best. I just finally got rid of the taskbar and so I finished adding the fruity chorus here I found a sound, it's that detune sound and it makes it sound like this I like how it ended up so I'm gonna leave it like that alright so for this sound I actually changed everything about it I changed the sound itself and I added uh, more effects to it this is how it sounds like when it's dry And so for this one, I'm just going to go through it, but for the other sounds, I'm not really going to explain it this thoroughly. So first off, I added the reverb, as it just makes it more spacious. The chorus uh, adds it more layers to it, basically. And this right here just basically just cleans it. It just makes sure that certain sounds don't overlap others. The stereo enhancer to make it more wider. The compressor to make it more louder. And then another parametric EQ to make sure that everything is cleaned up. Now as I did before in another video, I uh, made a bus track right here for the number 20. It basically just holds all the melodies together. And uh, right here I'm going to basically just lower it to make sure the drums are louder than, the, than everything else. Because I want to focus on the drums more than the melody. And so basically, I also want to add um, effects to this 808 because I want to make more wider than the second one. I want this to be like an intro and then drops in and it's more concentrated. And to do that, I basically just add it this, uh, I added this stereo enhancer right here and turned up the stereo separation way louder. As you can see with this vetroscope, uh, you can tell the difference is it's more crazy and when it drops into the second one it's more straight and linear compared to this one 
for the second way there's also this sound that I really don't like. It's that high pitched sound. So I'm gonna get rid of the way real quick. And this is how the beat sounds like so far. Now one pretty important effect for the drums that you would want to understand is side chaining a kick to an 808. So to do that you would basically get your kick and find where your, your 808 you want to side chain it with and for me it's going to be on the 6, I believe so. Yeah, it's going to be on this one right here. And basically what you want to do is you're gonna want to go to open up fruity limiter and right here you're gonna have the option to the comp right here and then you're gonna side chain basically to the Marie Curie crumb what the hell oh it's on the wrong sound <laughs> uh, let me change it And after you side chain it, you're gonna want to open up fruit limiter on the 808, and then open up comp, and then side chain it to the kick, basically. And right here, you're gonna turn down the threshold, turn up the knee, turn up the ratio, and when it plays, you're gonna see it affects the 808 whenever the kick plays. It basically depends how much you want the 808, um, the kick to appear in your song. If you want it to be really uh, bright when it plays, you're gonna want to turn down the threshold. Whenever you just want to hear the 808 more and just want the kick as like a background noise, you turn up the threshold of the weight, or you don't even add the fruit limiter in the first place. But for me, I really want to hear the kick, so I want to turn down the threshold. I know that unlike a lot of pure born beats, uh, kick is not really the, the main thing for the bass. It's basically, I don't even know if he even adds it in the first place, but for this one I just want to show you guys how you can like, actually sidechain it and how it can actually be useful in some beats, but for pure born, I don't really know if I would do it, but yeah. And after adding all the effects, all the sound effects, uh, this is what the final beat sounds like. basically the entire beat of course it's not mixed it's not properly mastered but for now this is what the beat sounds like uh, after all the effects after all the sounds the simple hi-hat the simple 808s and so yeah that was my final video for my capstone project um i know i got no views in my previous videos all those views were me and so <laughs> to whoever finds this video i hope you enjoyed my series of tutorials it was a good project Whoever listened to this, good luck with your future endeavors in FL Studio. Hope you learned something. Yeah. <laughs>